Hi, and welcome to Vintage Nerd. So, I know Christmas is over and done with, but I wanted to really, really share with you what I got this Christmas from Santa. Um, it's a mix of vintage -y and vintage items that I thought that you would like to see. Some things I'm going to review on my blog in detail, but for now, I just want to show you what I got. So, the first thing I got, I received a gift from Santa, aka my dad, um, who uh, came over on Christmas Eve and he gave me a box and he said, you can't buy this anywhere. So, already I'm like, why is he speaking in code language here? <laughs> but I opened the box and I immediately knew who this item belonged to. It belonged to my mom. It was the watch that she wore every day. And it was the last thing that she took off when she entered the hospital. Um, it's still in its original leather. My father kind of fixed the inside, but he kept the glass, which is a little scratch, original. I've worn it a couple of times, and I'm noticing that a bit of it is getting very, very fragile. Um, so it is over 30 years old. So I think what I may do is put it someplace safe and then just wear it on really special occasions. But I have to say that I'm still processing my father giving me this because I don't really have a lot of material things for my mom so this is the first gift of Christmas um, from my husband who totally spoiled me rotten this year um, he actually gave me a gift a few days before Christmas and it was a new blog address uh, some of you may or may not know that I started out with the vintagenerd.com but then I lost it and it became a blog spot a blog spot.com and I was really Tossing and turning, like, should I have a .com, .net, should I not? I got some really great advice from other bloggers that said, you know what, only get a, blog, a .com or a .net if your blog is going to become a business. And honestly, I don't want my blog to become a business. I don't want it to be kind of like a job. I want it to be fun uh, because, uh, well, it's my outlet. So, but I did want it to look very professional. So it's not that blog spots don't look professional. This is just a me thing. I'm a very visual, detail-oriented person. So my husband purchased two years of a vintage nerd.net, which is now my new address. Yay, hubby. He also gifted me, this was a real big surprise, um, my last birthday of last year. We were at Target, and they had all these Barbies from The Wizard of Oz. And I had to choose between The Wicked Witch and Dorothy, which is really hard to choose between, you know? So I chose Dorothy, and then for this Christmas, my husband got me the Tin Man and la, 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 the Cowardly Lion. Yay, hubby! So they are so beautiful. The details are just stunning. My, my husband actually got me into collecting pop culture Barbies. Uh, when we first started dating, we went to a store. He said, oh, that looks really cool. Would you like it? Now, this is a girl who only owned one Barbie growing up, okay? which was the Crystal Barbie, I think it came out in 1986 or 1987. I'm still looking for it. Um, so he got me into this and it's kind of like our little childlike thing that we do for each other. I get Barbie dolls, he gets them for me, and I love collecting them. Uh, they're just so beautiful and so much fun. I keep them in the box, of course. Um, my husband also got me a couple of movies. Yay! Now, Shirley Temple Black, as you know, passed away almost a year ago, and I haven't blogged about her yet, but I am feeling ready to do so soon. It was really kind of hard for me because I was a big fan of hers, and I know she was in her 80s, but when you grow up with someone in that way, you watch them on the big screen, they kind of affect you, especially when you're a child. Um, it's kind of heartbreaking. So, on my Netflix queue, I put her biography on it and I have been waiting a year for that video to be available it is on the long wait and so I asked my husband I, when I gave him my little Christmas list um, if he can get me this and he did uh, it's biography Shirley Temple the biggest little star it's really good and I'm definitely going to be blogging about this very very soon a definite must have for Shirley Temple fans um, I'm a big classic movie fan, as you know, and my husband is too, which is really cool. Um, and he got me a great collection from the TCM Turner Classic Movies series. 
TCM has a lot of these out which are really great because instead of having 50 million DVDs lying around, you can have four or five movies on one or two DVDs in one box. So this one's on horror. Um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with Spencer Tracy, The Haunting, Freaks, and House, House of Wax. I've seen them all but Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which I can't wait. Freaks is one of my very favorite movies. Um, House of Wax I saw when I was little. I mean, Vincent Price, how can you not love the man? And The Haunting, which is has an amazing cast, and it really is haunting. Um, because you don't really see anything. It's all in your imagination, which I love. So yay, I can't wait to watch all of these. And I, when I saw this movie, um, I knew that I would have to own it. You know, like when you watch a movie, you just know that it has to be yours. I'm the kind of person that likes to re-watch things. Um, so my husband got me Parade's End with Rebecca Hall and Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm a big fan of Cumbie, which I call him. I'm not the uh, kind of fan that wants to marry him and have, have his babies, no. I'm, I just love him as an actor. He is absolutely brilliant. I'm a big fan of the Sherlock series. He is one of those kind of actors that just really blows you away every single time. So, parades end, yay! Um, he also got me some books. One is still in route, you know how that goes. Um, which I'll share with you probably on my blog. I'll probably review it. This one is called Century Girl, A Hundred Years in the Life of Doris Eaton Travis, Last Living Star of the Ziegfeld Follies. I really, really wanted this. I didn't know it was going to be so big and colorful. And I didn't know that it was kind of like in a scrapbook format, which is very strange for me. Uh, it's different. I'm just appreciative that it's not in an academic format because I really, really don't like my biographies and autobiographies feeling like it is a school text because uh, then I don't want to read it, to be honest with you. But I am definitely going to review this on my blog. Yay! And some of you may or may not know that I am a really big Doctor Who fan. I started out when I was 11. I came across it on the PBS channel, channel 13 here in New York. And I saw Tom Baker, his hair, that scarf, and that blue box. My life changed. I mean, how can you not love the concept of time travel? It's amazing. So my husband knows I'm a big Doctor Who fan, and he got me Summer Falls and other stories, which I've been wanting for a very, very long time. It is a compilation of stories written by Amelia Williams, which is a.k.a. Amy Pond. It's a part of the quote-unquote rebooted version of Doctor Who. To me, it's all Doctor Who. There's no classic and new. It just all is. But for some people, they like to categorize it. So Summer Falls by Amelia Williams. The Angel's Kiss by Melody Malone, um, which is actually... Um, River Song, and Devil in the Smoke by Mr. Justin Richards, who I don't know who that is, but I cannot wait to read it. I just, I already peeked through a couple of pages and it had me drooling. It's amazing already. Um, then I got some great vintage gifts for my sister-in-law who, it looks like a decoupage, a tin, a tin box, and it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that big bow and that tag. And she gave me this stunning hat. And I told her a long time ago that red, when it comes to vintage, is very hard to find. Red dresses, red jewelry, red hats, red gloves. It's just, it's all really hard to find. It's a beautiful color. Um, and look at this hat. OMG. I totally need to get a dress to wear this hat. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, she got me some bracelets or bangles. I love and a necklace, pretty pretty, and two vintage brooches. One is a poodle and the other is a duck from the 1950s. I absolutely love it. So cute. Yay. And the last gift. Now, I told all my really good friends we are not exchanging Christmas presents this year. Things are tight for a lot of people all around the world. So I told my friends, you know what, let's just either Skype or send a card or just say Merry Christmas online, something simple for all of us and to be kind to our wallet. But 
my friend Becky completely surprised myself and my family and sent us a box of goodies. Uh, thank you so much, Becky. I'm going to put her blog address at the bottom of this video as well, and she completely surprised us. So she sent my kitties a book called Santa is Coming to Sydney. How cute is that? So cute. We're going to read it next Christmas. And some... I have three babies, three coloring books, Aussie Christmas, adorable, I love it, they love coloring, it's one of their favorite things to do. This is, I'm going to say it's for my husband and I, uh, but my children will probably try to confiscate this because at least my daughter is a chocoholic. Uh, Tim Tam's uh, Chocolicious, original dark chocolate and gooey caramel, mm, yum, and she also she has gotten me addicted to this brooch. I know a lot of vintage gals out there are into this brooch from Australia. They actually are designed in Melbourne. It's called Erst Wilder. I hope I said it correctly. The link will also be included at the bottom of this video. And here's a part of the box. And here is the brooch. She gave me two over the summer, um, which I'll show you one day. And then she gave me this one to Owl wearing a Santa outfit. How cute. Oh my God, thank you, Becky. And the last thing is just the sweetest, you know, like I said before, I'm a detail-oriented person. Um, and I just love, I love that she did this. This is just, it blew me away, really. Um, over the summer, she gave each of my children a stuffed animal uh, of an animal that is primarily from Australia. And, and then she gave us ornaments to kind of go with them. Each of the animals that she gave my babies. So I'm going to put it in a special box and put it in storage and it's going on our Christmas tree next year. So this is it. Oh, so cute, right? So I'm going to put links at the bottom of the video for everything that I have, just to give you some ideas of, of things that maybe you'd like to have or gift someone else. But I wanted to show you my presents from Santa from this Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful holidays. I still cannot believe it's over, but it is. Um, all the decorations are put away and the kids went back to school today, but they'll be back soon. So thank you. Bye.